On the News 19 bookshelf this morning, Elected Brown Girl, which is out September 28th. It's a true story written by Candace Erskine, a Huntsville lo local. The story sheds light on existing racism and the importance of empathy, friendship, and standing up for oneself. And Kansas joins us in the studio now. Thank you yes, so much for being with us this morning. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So tell us, without giving away any spoilers, a little <laughs> bit more about the book. Okay, so the book is about what my experiences were like going through school, grade school, uh, at a predominantly white school. Uh, what that experience was like as far as dealing with racial bullying uh, and things like that, but how I allowed that to empower me, uh, help me to find my voice, my independence, my uniqueness, and, and all of that. And so the book really just kind of talks about what that was like. Now, you just touched on that a little bit, but would you yes. mind sharing a little bit more of your personal journey with us? Yeah, so uh, I grew up right here in Huntsville, Alabama, um, living on the north side of town, but uh, my mother was a school teacher, and she found out about the Majority Minority Transfer Program, which still exists right now, MTM program, uh, and we were actually bused over to the south side of town, okay, to go to school in order for us to get a better education and so uh, the book really talks about that because it talks about how in order for us to uh, actually just learn more more advancement opportunities and things like that it was better for us to be able to go there well unfortunately in going there we dealt with a lot of bullying um, just because of the color of our skin um, and so unfortunately it was it was tough um, my brother was there with me uh, he's a year older than me. Uh, it was a lot harder for him. Uh, he got it a little tougher than I did. We also have different personalities, so we handled it differently. Uh, I'm more of the type that's like, you're not going to talk to me like that. <laughs> uh, and so, you know, I was the, I became the defender. Mm -hmm. And the book talks about that too, how I was the defender. Uh, my name, Candace, means queen. And so I took on that persona of, hey, I'm a queen. That's what you can call me, and I'm not going to take <laughs> any mess from anybody. And so I talk about how I handled it the wrong way, but also how I had to learn, you know, there's better ways to deal with bullying. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just finding my voice, finding my uh, independence, and appreciating my uniqueness, you know, and my differences, the differences that I have, the differences that others have, and just really embracing that. So, yes. Thank you for Beautiful. sharing that story Absolutely. with us. Yeah, you. it sounds like you approached it in such a strong way, and yes. I love that. Yeah. I love that you were the protector, too, even though yeah. your brother was older. Yes, um, my brother was older, but I was... I was like, who said what to you? <laughs> <laughs> Point them out. <laughs> so, so why now? Why is it so important to, to tell this story in a uh, climate? You know what? I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, one of the things that I'm realizing is that a lot of people think that uh, the racial issues do not still exist. And unfortunately, that's not the case. Uh, we are still dealing with racial issues even now. Uh, I can honestly say I, I'm, I've been a contractor for the government for many years, uh, but even in the government sector, I've, had, I've been called the N-word. And so um, people need to be more aware. I also want to be able to, you know, let our little brown girls know, listen, it's okay to be different. Uh, and we need to embrace each other, find your strength, you know, embrace your uniqueness. We all are unique. I was at um, Morris Middle School, uh, and I'm not going to talk to, you know, anyone any different. I'm telling all of the children. It's not, it's not just about brown, black, whatever. We are all different in some way, but let's find our commonalities also, and let's just simply embrace and love each other. We're all amazing, we're all great, you know? And so that's, that's why I feel like it's so important. I mean, it, we happen to have a, uh, a black woman that's running for president right now. That was mere coincidence, timing-wise, it just kind of happened that way, um, you know? But at the same time, I'm just like, I wanna lift up everyone, encourage everyone, empower everyone, um, but especially our brown girls who are dealing with a lot of, you know, racial bullying and things like that, so. I could not imagine a better role model, though, for all the young girls oh, out there, you. especially our people right here in Huntsville, since you are a native. Yes. And we understand you do have an exciting launch event happening in Huntsville. I do, yes. So I'm super excited because the book launch is on September 28th. 
Uh, it's at Lux Brew uh, at 1 o'clock, 1 to 3, uh, where you can come out, take pictures with me. Uh, I am doing book autographs and, and things like that. But a couple of fun little twists, um, some giveaways and, and different things. So I'm super excited about that. The book is already available mm -hmm. um, because you can get the ebook on Amazon oh. and you can get the paperback from Barnes & Noble. Um, but I hope people come out and, and just celebrate with me uh, this book that, that I've put out. I'm super excited about it. We are so happy for you. We yes. are. So you just mentioned where our viewers can go to pick up the book. Where can yes. they go to learn some more information about you? Okay, yes. Yeah. So you can follow me on uh, Facebook, Candice Erskine. E-R-S-K-I-N-E. -E. Um, you can follow me there. I'm also on Instagram and TikTok with Lady Favor, but, but definitely, definitely look me up on Facebook. That's where I am primarily and all the different events and things I've got going on. Awesome, and now while we're still here with you, would you like to plug your podcast too real quick? <laughs> oh, and there's that. So I do have a podcast called Brown Girl Podcast uh, where I talk a lot about the book and just different, different topics and things. I'm super excited about that. You can actually listen to that podcast on envision-radio.com. Uh, there's a few other apps that you can actually download in order to be able to listen to that podcast. Um, or you can actually go to my YouTube channel, uh, and that's Candace Erskine also. You can go to my YouTube channel to actually watch the video version. Awesome. Candace, I cannot imagine a better way to end our Friday with you coming yes. to the studio. Yes. Thank you so much for being Thank with us. Thank you for having me. So great to uh, have you. Thank you. Grab a copy of your book this afternoon. Yes. I've got copies in the car. <laughs> <laughs>